We are at the listening room in Nashville. We're here all week. And boy, is it great to see you. <laughs> after spending so many years in New York City, coming here is like taking a warm, sudsy bath after living in Joy Behar's armpit. <laughs> Believe me, if I could move here, I'd already be here. Which means it's time for... Gutfeld presents Why New York is Horrible and Stupid and We Need to Get the Hell Out of Here as Soon as Possible. Please help. Seriously, please help us. <laughs> Apparently, no matter what befalls the Big Apple, NYC remains the media capital of the world. It's weird. It's like declaring Afghanistan the best place to open a gay-friendly bed and breakfast. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> sure, in New York City, you could be pushed in front of a subway train by a guy wearing nothing but a smile and a hospital bracelet. But really, the Broadway shows are to die for. <laughs> nothing makes you forget about your grandma getting mugged for her false teeth than a matinee showing of Hello, Dolly. <laughs> Have you tried our New York famous bagels? Try a local deli. Just follow the police chalk outlines on the sidewalk. <laughs> and be sure to step over the bodies to get to it. The good news is every homicide comes with a free pickle and a bag of chips. <laughs> so I want to get out of New York, but I have to convince more than my wife. You know, there's my mistress and her kids. <laughs> Three separate states. <laughs> but also I have to convince Fox. How do I do that without threatening to go public with those pictures of Steve Ducey like you've never seen him before? <laughs> They're disgusting. We can only show you the upper half. <laughs> we know that the bosses are watching this show right now. That's because people haven't seen a hit this big since the last video of Hunter Biden puffing on his crack pipe. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. So maybe I should compare and contrast both cities. Today, we went all over Nashville and looked at what makes a good city. Real estate, civility, cleanliness of the massage parlors. They love, they love their massage parlors. So does Brian Kilmeade. I kid. He thinks a happy ending is when someone makes it to the end of one of his books. So here goes, the comparisons. First, let's check out Nashville's food. How great does this look? I love the barbecue here. It's so good, it has PETA asking for seconds. <laughs> now, let's show New York City. Yeah. <laughs> that is a rat enjoying a slice of pizza. Yeah, when we, when we get a pizza with everything on it, we mean it. <laughs> So how about fashion? All over Nashville. Great, great looks, hats, boots. Now, it may not be your cup of tea, but who doesn't want to see Tyrus and Chaps in a bolo tie? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do, we do love our cowboys, except for Kat. She thinks high noon it means her lunchtime bong hits. <laughs> okay, so we've seen Nashville. Here's new NYC fashion. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be naked. How long? One of your old boyfriends? Yeah. Yeah. So what about real estate? Here's a typical house in Nashville. It's gorgeous. So much space for all your stuff. Well, here's one in Manhattan. Welcome back. I'm Deb DiMuccio with Manhattan Real Estate. So, this listing, right in the heart of Manhattan, open concept, super charming. Right now, it's a 1.5 million asking price. Oh, tenant is still here. Hi. Hi. You want me to show you around? That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> there is no bathroom. You don't need a bathroom. So, you always hear about Southern hospitality. Well, here's Nashville. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, stop it. Here's NYC.
I'm still waiting for my pizza, by the way. You're not getting it. <laughs> still waiting for his pizza. I can't blame them for being mad. They thought they had tickets to see a comedy show. Turns out it was for Jimmy Kimmel. You know, if you watch closely, he'll start crying. So what about entertainment? Well, here's Nashville. You can walk into any bar, and you've got incredibly talented local bands kicking some major ass. Meanwhile, here's NYC. Look, it, it's, it's good to see Chris Cuomo is moonlighting. <laughs> Poor guy. Anyway, so I think we know who won this contest here. But the other problem with New York City, it's full of people who never leave New York City. And if they do leave, and there isn't two shrinks per block, they come apart faster than Biden's teeth on a cob of corn. <laughs> They know everything about vegan sushi, but nothing about the world. For example, did you believe that photo of Border Patrol agents going around on horses with riding crops whipping people? You didn't, because you're normal. You're not Joy Reid. But in New York City, where every person is either homeless or once sexually harassed by a Cuomo, or sometimes both, these people are as gullible and stupid as the studio audience for The View. <laughs> so apparently the media thought that these were whips. I understand. The only time New Yorkers see actual whips are at their s and sessions with their dominatrix. That's where I met John Rich. <laughs> Still owes me 40 bucks. <laughs> it's worth every penny, though, right? You know it. Uh. But it's always like liberals to see things that aren't there. I wonder what else they think are whips. 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 Oranges. <laughs> so we have a hellish problem on the border, and the dope from Delaware had only one solution. Let's ban horses. Which raises a question. Has this guy created even one job? He's even spiked unemployment among horses. <laughs> people, people like to joke about how stupid everyone else is down south or up north or in flyover country, but the moment they step outside their liberal bubble, it's like watching Tyrus wear khakis. <laughs> Meanwhile, because... What the... No, no, hell no. Hold on. Hold on. What? I'm almost what done. I can't wear khakis? I'm almost done. You can come after me. So the rest of America brims with common sense. It's the kind that tells you, no, they're not whipping them. They're trying to control the horse on unstable terrain. You don't have to be the Lone Ranger to figure that out. So that's why we want to leave. We'd be happy here. But don't you people get a swelled head? We already have one of those. We call him Jesse. Oh, don't clap for him. Is sweet tea. Hey, AOC, good luck taxing this rich. Country music star and host of the pursuit of much business, John Rich. She still haunts Jim Acosta's dreams and nightmares. Former White House press secretary, co host of Outnumbered, Kaylee She's like a $100 bill, valuable but covered in cocaine. Fox News contributor. <laughs> His 10-gallon hat actually holds 40 gallons. <laughs> My massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> you know, John, we were talking before, you live here. Um, is that one reason not to move here? <laughs> uh, Every are... time I go to Nashville, you try to get me to shoot guns. <laughs> That's right. I asked you, you know, you're here all week. If you have a couple hours off, we should go shoot guns because we actually still have a Second Amendment that's alive and well in this town. So, yeah. 
If you want to go, you want to go shoot some guns. You want to go fish. You want to go listen to some country music, ride a four wheeler, eat a bunch of barbecue. That's I mean, my Wednesday. Why would any? Why, I don't see how anybody. Yeah. I don't see how anybody still lives in New York and doesn't move somewhere else. Just to your point. Do you? You come to New York. Is there? There's got to be something redeeming there. I mean, listen, I used to love going to New York. I, I was actually at Ground Zero yesterday playing a concert for, like, thousands, tunnels to towers, thousands of people yeah. down there. I went down there and played that. And listen, there's a lot of great people in New York. The people in New York, there's all these great people, but it was a different vibe, man. I'd never seen that when yeah. I was driving down. It had been about a year. The cops, they, they look on edge. The air feels different down there. I'm like, man. I always love New York more than L.A., always, because yeah. the people there, even well, the cowboy that's like hat. saying, comparing anything to L.A. Well, that's I true. like psoriasis more than L.A. <laughs> well, that's true. But, but it was just definitely a different yeah. vibe, man. Yeah, it's, sure. it's changed. It's sad, Kaylee. Kaylee, you might be one of the few people on the planet that just moved to New York. To New York. I'm the only crazy person <laughs> who, uh, hey, I still live in the freedom-loving state of Florida, but sadly, I have to spend a lot of days in what we call the death trap. My husband, who used to play for the New York Mets, he loves the Mets, but mm -hmm. the death trap of New York City, he cannot speak for. Mm. New York Mets, are they any good? That's baseball, right, Tyrus? I'm still stuck on you talking about me wearing khakis. What's the problem? <laughs> have you, hold on, have you ever worn khakis? Has anyone ever seen you in a little pair of khakis? <laughs> I have worn, I've been seen in a, war of, in a, in a pair of khakis. Wait, on this show? Um, not, not recently, okay, no. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. You're just running out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> I, I choose to dress this way. This That's is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It would be like, Khakis you can't... don't pull... work with my skin tone. You can... <laughs> People would think I didn't have pants on. They'd be like, oh, it's the same tone. Why would you wear the same tone? It always has to be about race, doesn't it? <laughs> you went there talking about I wanted to see him in khakis. Well, it's because I couldn't... I just can't... You can't pull off khakis. Why? <laughs> I can't pull... I can take. I put my leg, one leg on my shoe. I can t pull off some khakis. Put. You know what? Next time you show up here with some khakis, I'll pull them off. How about? That? <laughs> uh, this was all an elaborate plan for him to say that. Well, do you remember the night you called me drunk at Geraldo's house, and you said, "John, please come pick me up." I showed up. You were wearing khakis. <laughs> I did see him once at Geraldo's oh, house. I was at wearing Geraldo. a smile. So, Cat, uh, how you doing? You know, I, I'm okay, but I, I do have to leave New York, right? You hear my voice? <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, give it a few years, you're gonna sound just like me. Hey, I'm, I'm, I am 32 years old. I am rapidly aging in that city. It's destroying me, it destroys all of us. I need to move, maybe here. Let's not Please. Yeah. yeah! All right, come on. I will say, if I could, I came up from Florida for the first time to New York for about Which is why two you years. still sound healthy, yeah. Within, within, <laughs> Within an hour, a rat scurried across yep. my feet. There was a domestic violence dispute in my hallway, and there was a man peeing on the side of the road. Which, oh. that's normal Just New York. Just one but... man? Just one. <laughs> okay. I dream for days like yeah. that. <laughs> All right, we got to move on. Enough New York City bashing. I still like New York, but see, I, I'm, as long as Fox is still there. Yeah. See, this, you have to understand, this entire monologue wasn't for anybody at home. <laughs> this, was, this was just targeted at my boss. <laughs> and then they're going to look at the ratings and go, maybe he's got a point. Yes. Anyway, I should shut up now. I still have a job. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.